Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another one here on the channel. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at a specification that in my opinion is way more powerful than the C rating. Now for those of you who have been in RC for quite a long time or even on the channel for quite some time, you will probably know what this specification that is much better than the C rating actually is. At the end of the video, comment in the section below letting me know if this is the specification that you thought we were going to go and cover in this video or if there's some specification that works better for you. I'm interested in hearing either one of these no matter which one it is. The specification that is more worthwhile than the C rating happens to be one that could be measured simply just by your charger. Most common chargers out there on the market that are computerized will be able to get this value for you. And that value is the internal resistance of your battery pack per cell on average. Now some chargers will only give you the individual cell resistances, internal resistance, or the total for the pack. To get the average you'll just take the total and you will divide it by how many cells that your pack actually has within it and this tells you the average per cell resistance. The reason why the internal resistance is so powerful for us in RC is because that value can tell us the true performance of a pack when we go and use it. As you may have expected, the lower the value of resistance, the better that LiPo battery pack is going to perform. We know the equation V equals IR. Anytime you have a resistance and a current, you're gonna get a voltage with that as well. Now, since our battery pack is a source of power, we're gonna get a voltage drop across it as we run a current through it. The battery pack is going to consume a little bit of power and it's gonna build heat anytime that you have a more significant resistance there. So obviously you want the lowest amount of resistance so that your battery can operate the coolest and provide the most amount of power to the rest of your power system. Now I'm gonna set up my charger and show you how I'm able to get the resistance value for my specific battery packs. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take four of the batteries that I have where they're all gonna be 4,000 milliamp hour from the same C rating. And this is not necessarily important because at the end of the day, we're gonna see which battery performs best. So let's go ahead, take a look at that and compare our results. All right, here's the charger. We're gonna start initiating our charge here at six amps. The reason why we choose six amps as a charge current for our four amp hour battery pack is because we talked about setting the standard here. As long as our charger can handle as well as the battery pack can handle more than a 1C charge rate. So this is in that video calculating the true C rating of a LiPo battery. We accelerate it so you don't need to watch the ramp up and then we're expecting our results right here in the video. So this is the first battery pack that we have results for. We're gonna see this in represented on a chart that we'll draw up very shortly. We're gonna get our second battery here initiated so that we're able to get and identify what its average resistance is going to be as well. So again, I'm gonna go and accelerate the ramp up. There's no need to watch this go from zero milliamp hour all the way up to where the the actual resistance is calculated. Here it is, it's shown on the screen. And we simply just repeat this process for the next two batteries. Here is our third battery pack and we see the resistances there are very different than what we saw before. And we accelerate it for the last battery pack that we're gonna do and then we have results there for our last one. So now let's go ahead, take all this information and throw it up on a chart. Okay, here we are at the chart. We're taking a look at exactly what I have up here on the board. Now, here are a bunch of batteries that we just ended up measuring with 4,000 milliamp hours capacity and a 45C rating. Now, what I want you to do is assume that these sets of batteries come from different manufacturers. I don't have different manufacturer battery packs to compare right here and I want to make sure I represent that so we have a clear understanding as to what to expect out of these packs. And I also want you to assume that they're all the same cell count. Again, the only thing that we're interested in is the average cell resistance. And that is something that you at home would be able to do and compute yourself. So now with that being said, let's go through how this was done. 
All I did is take all the independent cell resistances, I added it up and I get a total number and then I divide it by the total amount of cells that are within that battery pack. This leaves us with an average cell internal resistance for the pack. Now when we look at that average internal resistance, this is where we're able to draw some significant conclusions. Our first two packs have an internal cell resistance on average of about 1.85 to 1.88 milliohms and then the last couple packs that we have have an internal cell resistance on average of 3.2 to 3.13 milliohms now it's quite obvious that we can see some minor difference and we can see a major difference and that's what we're ultimately interested in these two packs go hand in hand together i use them uh, the same and equally so they're not that much different in internal resistance same with the bottom set I use them equally so that we still only have some minor differences there as well. However, when you compare both of these sets against each other, even though they're the same C rating and the same capacity, there's some significant difference in internal resistance. If I were to ask you which cell would you expect to perform the best, you're going to be able to select that battery pack. And that's obviously going to be the cells with the lowest on average internal resistance. And for those that are interested in what's actually happening within these two sets of batteries, enough with imagining that they are from two different manufacturers. They are not. These are the only ones that I have that can represent what we're looking at for today. These two battery packs are very old and these two battery packs are extremely old. Both sets of batteries up on the board are well past their prime and probably will be replaced for next season. The last point worth mentioning, I understand that battery manufacturers can't take that common C rating and replace it with an internal resistance average per cell within a pack. This is much an oversimplification of the problem. It is not as easy as just going and swapping it. There's many things that would have to be figured out. Even though that the C rating has a lot of uh, consequences with it, maybe a lot of re misrepresentation and so forth. Well guys, that pretty well does it for this video. I hope you were able to learn something. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.